Hi everyone, welcome to our Saints at Home Christmas special. Now during the first lockdown, we recorded several Saints at Home episodes aimed at keeping you connected with the club during such a difficult time. And now we're back for a Christmas special. Today, I'm delighted to be joined by men's first team players, Oriol Romeu and Carl Walker-Peters, and women's first team players, Caitlin Morris and Phoebe Williams, to talk all things football and all things Christmas. Now, Carl's running a little bit late, but he'll be joining the call in just a few moments time. This is all part of the Saints as One campaign, which is part of the club's initiative to support people in the community. You can find out more at southamptonfc.com. Okay, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, Merry Christmas. It's so nice to have you here. Um, we're going to be talking about football and Christmas, um, but let's dive straight in. Oriel, we'll come to you first. Um, what a season so far. Um, what have you made of it? Um, well, uh, very happy. Uh, I'm probably a happy man right now. Things are going well. Um, things are looking well. So... Uh, playing more games and being busier throughout this period um, is something that I'm really looking forward to. So, so far, so good uh, and excited for what comes. And Phoebe, what about you? Because it's been quite a strange year with the season being cancelled and then having to play matches without supporters. What's it been like for you guys? Yeah, obviously, it's not been great having last season cancelled and us sort of having to start again. And also, of course, last month when it all stopped. But we've been undefeated in both the league and the cup, which is great. And I know all the girls last month were working really hard so that when we do come back to training and our first game on Sunday, we kind of pick up where we left off and hit the ground running again, which is great. So, yeah. Yeah, Caitlin, how have you kind of found the season and, you know, the one month break? How's, how's that been and how excited are you to get back to it? The one month break was tough, but um, like the club are really good with putting on. Like we did loads of Zoom sessions, um, so the girls are still in touch with each other. And I think everyone in the group's really uh, determined to get the outcome that we want this season. So, like I say, like Phoebe said, it's been a real good um, like time for people to go away and like make sure that they've stayed on top of it. So now everyone's come back in. I think there's just a real like excitement around the group just to get going again. Yeah, I bet everyone's ready and raring to go. Um, now, Oriel, it is almost Christmas. So give us a little bit of insight into what Christmas is like in the Romeo household. I was normally very busy, so I couldn't really see them a lot. Um, and that's what we, we tend to do. We, we spend time with family. We, we also training a lot. But it was nice also to see, and, and hopefully this year we can do it again, uh, to see people that I don't normally see and spend, spend a bit longer with them. Yeah, it's such a special time of year, isn't it? But it is, of course, such a busy time of year for anyone involved with football. Um, Phoebe, do you have the opportunity to kind of do anything with the women's team? How do you guys celebrate? Um, well, last year, I know we went out for a big meal, but of course, with the rules in place at the moment, we can't do that. So I know there's a secret Santa going on and we're going to have like a fun, fun themed Christmas training session, which should be good. But of course, it's not the same as what it has been, unfortunately. Caitlin, secret Santa then. Uh, have you done one of those before with the girls and, and how does that go down? Yeah, we've done a couple now for the last um, two seasons and it's always quite good. I think where we're quite a tight-knit group, people tend to know each other quite well. So uh, people know the types of gifts to get each other that sort of get a reaction out of a lot of people. Um, so it's always quite a laugh. And uh, so I think the fact that everyone knows each other well makes it quite funny because it's not just... Um, like I know this year we put a ban on generic gifts, so things like shower gel and stuff. We just said, no, it's too easy, so it's got to be something that people have put real thought into to basically take the mick out of people as much as they can. Oh, that sounds amazing. Well, Carl's just joined us. Hi, Carl. How are okay. you doing? I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Um, how are you? I'm well, thank you. And you? Yeah, really good, thank you. Great to see you. Um, we're just having a little catch up, talking all things Christmas. We were just talking about a secret Santa. Um, so maybe, Carl, you can tell us, do you guys do a secret Santa? Yeah, we do, actually. Um, I already know who I've got. Oh, OK. I'm guessing you're not going to give that yeah, away. <laughs> I'm not going to give it away. Um, but yeah, it should be fun. 
I bet that's that's a good laugh with the guys. Do you normally kind of celebrate Christmas with a meal? And if you do normally do that, will you be able to do something this year? Um, so the, the past the past few seasons, I've actually um, I've actually been able to spend it at home. So the, the Boxing Day games have always been home games for me. And this is the first year it's, been, it's an away game. So we don't actually know whether we're going to be able to, to, to have a meal of our families or if we're going to be having a meal of the team. We're still waiting for Prowsey to find out. <laughs> oh, well, fingers crossed you guys can celebrate. Um, yeah. Oriel, back to you then. Um, whether you have a meal on with the guys, when you have your own family Christmas dinner, what's a Spanish Christmas dinner like? Do you have the traditional roast dinner or have you got your own little thing going on? We, we, we also, is it turkey as well in here that it's the traditional one? We also tend to eat turkey and, and before turkey we eat like some kind of soup with meatballs. Um, but I, to be honest, I'm not, um, don't rely on me too much because my mom is the one that really is taking care of, of those things. Uh, and I'm just the one that <laughs> tastes everything and, 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 and loves what, what she does. So, but I, I would say so. It's like a kind of soup and, and turkey afterwards. And sometimes it's dark, um, but yeah, it's, it's, that's more or less what, what she tends to do. Oh, that sounds delicious. Um, now, before we carry on talking about Christmas, Carl, uh, as, you, as you joined us a little bit later on, I want to just ask you about the year you've had, because it has been pretty eventful. Uh, you know, with the club yeah, and family, it's really great. Um, what, how would you assess the whole of, of this year for you? Um... Yeah, I've loved, I've loved, you know, every minute, every minute of it, other than obviously the pandemic and and being, being stuck indoors um, with with the lockdown. Um, but yeah, well, the the good bits for me have obviously been, you know, I've I've really kicked on in in terms of my my football career, um, playing regular games. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just really happy and, and feeling blessed. Um, in terms of the Secret Santa then, guys, Oriol, has there been any, like, incredible presents or are they tend to be kind of more jokey, funny presents amongst the team? They're jokey. They're jokey ones. And I, I think if anyone tries to go now, uh, nice, it should be, it should be boo. Uh, <laughs> no, nah, because it, it's a moment to, to have fun. It's a moment to get fancy dresses out, to uh, probably to... Um, hurt, but in a nice way to some people, whether they moan a lot or whether they are always in the gym, I don't know, there's always a chance to um, get them and, and, and the Secret Santa is a perfect one. So uh, I love, I think it's, it's, it's a great moment within the team. Uh, we haven't done it the last two or three seasons because we didn't feel probably comfortable enough to, to do those things. But, but I think now we're going to enjoy it even more because um, if everything, we haven't done it for a while. So that's one thing. And then everything is, is running a lot better. So it's, I don't know which day it is, Kyle. Is it 23rd or 22nd? I don't know when we're doing it, but we have to get the 22nd. Yeah. yeah. So we have to get, get the gifts time. ready and yeah, exactly. Start thinking <laughs> and start, start analyzing where we can, um, go and which jokes we can make but it, it is a really nice time I, I do really enjoy it okay so Carl this is your first Saints secret Santa so how are you feeling about it I know you can't tell us who you've got but uh, how organized are you and, and do you think that the recipient is going to like whatever you've got them well, I haven't got them anything yet <laughs> <laughs> um, I've, I've got a quite, quite a tough one um, yeah but I'm sure I'm sure I'll I think of something pretty good and, you know, not too hurtful, but enough to be funny. <laughs> does Ralph get involved with the Secret Santa? Uh, I don't think he does, but I, I think, you know, sometimes, you know, a bit of banter, yeah, you have a few teacher teacher's pets and <laughs> you can banter them that way, get him involved that way. But other than that, not really, no. Absolutely. Um, now, guys, obviously, Christmas is a busy time, as we've said for you, with the football. Um, what is it actually like, kind of having to go away and play when a lot of people are, are with their families, Phoebe? Um, well, for us, I don't think necessarily, like, it's as bad, just because, like, in lots of situations, our family can come and watch us. 
especially now because like the rules on the crowds and that have changed so for me especially like I'm not that much affected by it I'd say so yeah Oh, what's it like for you then kind of you know I know not all your family's here but um, it is obviously a time where a lot of people tend to slow down but for you guys it's in, in fact the total opposite yeah but I kind of got used to it and, and even liked it because um, now let's say September October November you see December is coming and you think you know it's a busy period and you start thinking right uh, now you want to get uh, better physically re recover quicker um, and I, I kind of like this 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 busy weeks where we play two or three games in a row or we're, we're playing one game we're resting in another and then in three days we're playing again um, it's it just what we like doing isn't it and and, and having more games um, although we need time to rest afterwards of course but um, I think it's nice and there's some very nice moments, uh, like the Boxing Day and so all of those periods that be, maybe not this year, but before the uh, year, previous years, the stadiums look really nice with, with all those kids and, and all those gifts. Um, and, and I think it's, it's lovely and it's a good way to keep people entertained and, and at the same time we're doing our job and, and we love it as well. So I don't really mind. Yeah, the fans definitely love football over Christmas. But Carl, I guess it does make even Christmas Day look a bit different because quite often, you know, you'll either be training on Christmas Day or, or travelling for your Boxing Day game. Um, what's that like? Because when most people are settling in, getting comfortable in the evenings, you guys are, are on the road or, or working hard. Yeah, no, again, uh, I actually haven't experienced an away game uh, on, on Christmas. But yeah, we, we have to... We have to go in and, and, and train on the day, um, which again, it, it's not too bad because you get to see your teammates who, who, are, who are like, who are your close, close friends, you know. Um, so, so it's always nice to see them on Christmas, have, have a fun training session. Um, and then, yeah, I guess if you're traveling, I, c I can imagine it, it could be tw quite tough, especially for, for the players with kids. Um, not so much me, you know, I'm, I'm young, I'm, I haven't got any kids yet, so I'm all right. But yeah, I can, I can imagine it, it's, it's a lot harder for, you know, the foreign players and, and the players with kids. Yeah, most definitely. Looking ahead to, to 2021 then, guys, um, have you thought of any New Year's resolutions, both in your private lives and, and also to do with the football? Caitlin, do you want to kick us off? Um... Well, I don't know. I think within football, not so much a resolution, but just carrying on making sure that we keep standards high um, and that within the team that we push on quite a lot. Um, and then maybe personally, um, oh, it put me on the spot, Kenzie. I've not thought about it yet. <laughs> um, there's not really one at the moment that comes to mind. Like, there's not one that stands out. I'm sure there are plenty, but I just have to wait a little while for them to come to me. No, I think that's a good one. It, like you say, it's, um, it's hard putting on the spot. But Oriol, in terms of, of your hopes then for, for the team, obviously we've discussed what a fantastic season it's been so far. What are your aspirations going into the new year? Um, well, if, probably if, if we look back at 2020 and what's taught us is that um, we never know what's going to happen, don't we? And we need to adapt to wherever situation we have. And I think um, we've done that very well recently. So being flexible and, and adapting to uh, whatever comes is going to be uh, massively important because hopefully we can get people back. Hopefully we can get back to normal, but um, we never know. And, and that's going to be one of the keys. So um, main thing is also knowing what we're doing right um at the moment and but it's working well and keep repeating those things keep doing keep doing them day after day and hopefully then the good results will follow so that's that's my idea keep keep being flexible keep adapting adapting ourselves to wherever comes and keep doing those things that that are working and of course Absolutely. And Phoebe, coming to you then, um, 2020 has obviously been a difficult year for a lot of people for different reasons. Um, but could I put you on the spot and maybe ask you to pick one of your favourite moments from the year? Yeah, so um, probably just 
in February, we played Portsmouth in the League Cup and we played them away, so at their home ground, and we won. So that's probably one of the best moments so far. But yeah, of course, with the season and stuff ending, it was a bit tricky, but yeah. Yeah, that sounds like a definite highlight. Any defeat over Pompey is, is a good one. Um, now, guys, we actually have a little Christmas quiz prepared for you. So um, it's kind of a finish the lyric kind of thing. Uh, don't worry, I'm not going to sing. Um, if you want to sing back the, the answer, please do. Um, but all you need to do is finish the lyric. So I'm going to read out part of a song and then you guys need to tell us the way the lyric ends so you can jump in at any time um, and whoever gets the answer first gets a point so are you guys up for it let's go okay let's do it right your first one is this it's really hard not to sing it actually <laughs> um, <laughs> i don't want a lot for christmas there's just th one thing i need i don't care about the presents underneath the christmas tree Yes, wow. <laughs> I don't I know Christmas songs, probably. that's bad. <laughs> Did you not know that one, Carl? I, I know it, but I just don't know the lyrics. It's bad. I'm normally <laughs> good with lyrics. I, I think I'm going to have zero points, but uh, we'll, <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, fight, I'll fight with, with Kyle, see, see who gets worse. <laughs> see who okay. gets less. See how you let's get go, on. Let's go, let's go. Right. Last Christmas, I gave you my heart, but the very next day, you gave it away. This year, to save you from tears. Is that correct? It is! To save you from tears. <laughs> I know the songs. This is embarrassing. Caitlin, Carl, Oriel. We can't let Phoebe get every point. <laughs> no, we can't. Right, Oriel, I'm hoping this one you might know. I love this Christmas song. Um, okay. Let's see. Hands on buzzers, guys. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you said it four times. I thought actually someone might come up with that. It's not. It's from the bottom of my heart. It's Feliz Navidad. Have you heard that one? Oh, Feliz uh, Navidad. Yeah. I, know, I, I know the uh, Spanish version. That's, that's because you didn't sing it and then I didn't know which one. Which song <laughs> I just didn't want to subject you all to my singing. It definitely would have been a lot easier if I'd sung that. But yeah, we thought we'd throw in a little Feliz Navidad just for you. <laughs> I didn't get it. Sorry. didn't get it. <laughs> Not even that one. <laughs> okay, this is the last one. So, um, come on, guys. Can we mute Phoebe just so she can't give an answer? <laughs> yeah, the last one. We'll I Google it quickly. <laughs> yeah, Phoebe, let everyone else have a go. No, I'm joking. You've got it. You come in. You go for it. Okay, here we go. When the snowman brings the snow, well, he just might like to know. The snowman brings the snow. No. I can sing it in my head, but I don't know the next line. I know how it sounds. Can you I sing it, please, know. Kenzie? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. No. <laughs> um, it's kind of like. Um, da -da 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 -da. Okay, now I know it. <laughs> so it's the next lyric. Sorry, what are the lyrics again? <laughs> <laughs> when the snowman brings the snow, no. well, he just might like to know. Oh, wow. <laughs> I know the song. I can't believe you oh, just played it. Come on, Phoebe. <laughs> I'm not sure. I... Uh, do you not know it? No, I know the song, but I don't know what like the next lyric is. I tell you, put us out of our misery. He's put a great big smile on somebody's. Oh, oh, oh guys, <laughs> he's banking on you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to say that's that's got to be a an all time low for me singing <laughs> songs. I apologise for the the tone deafness of it but um phoebe i think you are our clear winner there thanks <laughs> you sure you sure <laughs> you didn't get the felice navidad one ariel not even that one imagine <laughs> Fantastic win. 
Oh, well, guys, it's been really nice to catch up with you uh, ahead of Christmas and all the best of luck for your matches over the festive period. Thanks so much for your time and, and Merry Christmas. Thank, Thank you. you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you, Kenzie. Thank Merry you. Christmas.